dwelling, that no evil befalls us, nor a plague come nigh our dwelling. And right now, we just going to start this service. We just going to begin with intercessory prayer. And right now, I just want you to prepare your hearts, prepare your minds, and get you get it set on the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And Heavenly Father, we just come before you today, giving you thanks, honor, and praise. We thank you, Father God, for your kingdom, Lord God. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that your kingdom you have given unto the sons of men, Lord God. You told us in your word, Father God, that the kingdom is yours and you are governor among the nations. And we, oh Lord, even now, oh God, declare today, Father God, that your rule, your reign, Lord God, has come and it will manifest, oh God, in the earth. Your word declares according to Psalms 103 and 19 that you have prepared your throne in the heavens and your kingdom, it rules over all flesh. And we declare today that your kingdom, oh God, it rules over the nations. It rules, oh God, over man. It rules over the media. It rules, oh God, over every, oh God, governing, oh God, nation, oh God, in the earth, oh Lord. And we declare today, Father God, that this is the hour, oh God, for your glory, your power, oh God, to manifest, oh God, in the earth, oh God. We declare today a shifting, oh God, of the minds, oh God. Today, Lord God, where we no longer, Father God, have our minds, oh Lord, set, oh Lord, on what the world is doing, oh God. We take our rightful place, oh God, as dual citizens, oh God. Those, oh God, that are in the earth, oh God, but not of it, oh God. We, oh God, are kingdom people, oh God, who are seated, oh God, in the heavens, oh God, where our blessings are, oh God. And we declare today, oh God, your kingdom come and your will, oh God, be done in the earth, oh God. We declare today, Father God, no sickness, oh God, no lack, oh God. We declare today healing, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We, oh Lord, come before you today, Father God. And we, oh God, even now, operate, oh God, in the kingdom authority, oh God, that you have given us, oh God. You told us in your word, oh God, that you have given us, Lord God, the keys, oh God, of the kingdom. And we, oh God, take that first key today, oh God, through prayer and intercession, oh God. And we stick in, oh God, the key, oh God, which is the word of the Lord, oh God. And we declare today healing, oh God. By Jesus, by Jesus strike, oh God. And we open the door, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. We shut the doors, oh God. To every, oh God, plot, oh God. And playing, oh Lord, of the enemy. We shut the doors, oh God, to sickness. We shut the doors, oh God, to disease. We shut the doors, oh God, to infirmity, oh God. And we open up now, oh God. Healing, oh God. We open up, oh God, prosperity, oh God. For it is your will, Lord. Lord God, that we prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prospers. And so we declare today, Father God, prosperity of mind, oh God. We declare today, oh God, prosperity, oh God, even in our body, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we, oh God, declare today that the report of the Lord, that shall stand, oh God. We declare your word, oh God. It's final authority, oh God, in our lives, oh God. And we will not, oh Lord, give way, oh God, to the media, oh God. We will not give way, oh God, to the report of man, oh God, because your word, oh God, is truth. Your word, oh God, is life. Your word, oh God, is our bread, is our manna. And today, oh God, we open up our mouths today and we say, feed us today, oh God, with the manna, oh God, with truth, oh God. Today, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let truth, oh God, even now, oh Lord, ring out, oh Lord, throughout the nations of the earth, oh God, that will bring, oh God, even liberation, oh God, to your people, oh God, who have been deceived, oh Lord, by the lie of the enemy, oh God. We declare today, Father God, that your truth comes forth as light, Lord God, and it illuminates, oh God, even, oh God, the deception, oh God, the lies of the enemy, oh God, that will keep us bound, oh God, that will keep us, oh God, imprisoned, oh God, in our mind, oh Lord, in bondage, oh God, that we are not able, Father God, to hear or receive truth, oh God. We declare today, oh God, kingdom exploits, oh God, 
manifesting, oh God, today, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you said in your word that they that know they God, Lord God, they shall do exploits. And so, Father God, today we declare, oh God, supernatural, oh Lord, exploits, oh God, manifesting, oh God, in today, oh Lord, in our now, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we, oh God, kick down, oh God, every lie, oh God, of the report, oh God, of the enemy, oh God. And we, oh God, open our hearts today, oh Lord, to receive, oh God. We receive, Father God, the blessing, oh God, of the Lord that maketh rich, oh Lord. We receive, Father God, the blessing of the Lord, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father God, today we give you a unified praise today. Come on and clap your hands, all ye people. Come on and bless the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Let's bless the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the praise. We give you the honor because you are God all by yourself. Your name is above every name. Your name is excellent, God. Hallelujah. You are El Olam. You are the everlasting God. Hallelujah. Your king is the everlasting kingdom, oh God. Your dominion endures unto all generations, oh God. According to Psalms 145 and 13, oh God. We exhort you, God. Hallelujah. You are a holy God. You are a righteous God. You are righteous in all your ways. You are holy in all your works, oh God. And we give you glory. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Oh, magnify the Lord with me in this place. And let us exalt his name together. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so in this place. Hallelujah. Glory. We bless you, God. Holy Spirit, have your way tonight in the name of Jesus. Saturate the atmosphere with your glory. Saturate the atmosphere with your presence. Saturate the atmosphere with your anointing, oh God. We welcome you, God. We welcome you here. We delight in your presence. We delight in your anointing. We delight in you, God. Have your way, God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. All the glory belongs to you. All the honor belongs to you. All the praise belongs to you. Hallelujah. Let's magnify the Lord. As the year go out, we give a glory tonight. We give a praise tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Lift your hands to heaven tonight, Lord. Lord, we opportunity, Father God. We thank you for your kingdom is advancing in this earth, Father God. According to Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all his righteousness shall be added, is being added this day, this hour, this moment, in Jesus' name. Be attuned to what the Lord of the King of the Lord is speaking. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Come on. We are here to lift his praises. The kingdom has come. His will is being done in this earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we thank you that your kingdom has come and that in 2021 we will see the advancement of your kingdom, Lord. No longer will man serve his kingdom, but we will serve the one true living God. We will serve you, Abba Daddy. We thank you that you are kingdom, Lord. We thank you that your righteousness is ruling in 2021, Lord. We thank you for the opportunity to walk in the plans that you have spoken, that the kingdom is advancing, folks. The kingdom is advancing in Jesus' name. Be in tune to what the Lord is speaking. Be in tune in your heart, your mind, and your soul that salvation is in 2021. Your families will be saved. Our children will be saved. Our grandchildren, Muskegon, will be saved in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for your kingdom, Lord. We thank you for the word, Lord, that seek ye first the kingdom of God 
and all his righteousness shall be added. Your righteousness rules and reigns in the hearts and minds of your people, Lord. We thank you for the strength, the wisdom, and the knowledge to see us through as we celebrate the reopening of rivers. The rivers is exploding in this hour, in this moment. We thank you, Lord, for the words that you're speaking to your people, Lord, that your kingdom has come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We praise you this night, Lord. Oh, come on, folks. Lift up a holy praise. The doors of the church are open to those that are broken, to those that are seeking for 2021 to be everything that God has promised them. For God has spoken that this is your year of freedom, of kingdom, of salvation, of peace and glory and grace be unto you and your family in jesus name
baptized in the name of the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. So we take on that kingdom mandate. We take on the kingdom, Matthew. Matthew 28. We thank you, Lord. We go out. We go out. We make disciples. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. We will bring in the souls. We thank you, Lord, that the labors are ready. The labors are ready, Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father God. The labors are few, but the harvest is ready. So we thank you for preparing your laborers. We thank you, Lord, for fresh and filling the Holy Ghost. We take the charge. We will not be afraid of their faces. We will go out and sheep among wolves. We will not fear their faces. And we will take our authority. We will compel men to come. We will make disciples of all men. We will, we will take the Great Commission. 228 to oh God, Matthew 28. Family salvation. Family are coming in. Your family is coming in. We thank you, Lord, for demonstration of miracles, signs, and wonders in the name of Jesus. 2021, that's our year. Family salvation. They're coming in droves. They're coming from the north, south, east, and west. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, for sending out the angels of salvation. We thank you for your gathering anointing. We thank you, Lord, that you called us, Father God, to have a heart even greater this year for souls, Lord. We will let nothing stand in our way, God. We will go out. We will not be afraid. We will give our testimony. We will give our testimony, for they overcome by the word of the Lord, the blood of the Lamb, Father God, and word of their testimony. We will give our testimony. We will not fear, Father God. We bind our spirits of fear. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will is soul. Thy will is the word. Thy word will is truth. Thy will is soul. So we thank you, Lord, for a hunger for souls. We thank you for a passion for souls. We will bring them in. We will not draw back. We will go for God. In your strength, God, in your power to demonstrate the kingdom. Signs and wonders and miracles. We will do it, God. We will do it as you fill us again. Fill us afresh with a fresh anointing to win souls, God. Baptize us afresh, God, with that soul winning anointing, with that gather anointing, God. We will not go out unless you send us, God. We will not go out unless you send us. Thank you, Lord, for a fresh baptism. Fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost. We praise you, God. Give you glory. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done, Lord. Let your kingdom come in the earth, O oh Lord. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come in the earth, O oh Lord. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come in the earth. In the earth, O oh Lord. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done, let your kingdom come in the earth, O oh Lord. The Bible says that Matthew 6 and 11 and 12, Matthew 11 and verse 12, it says, And from the days of John the Baptist until the present time, that the kingdom of heaven, somebody said that the kingdom of heaven, Come on, say the kingdom of heaven has endured violent assault and violent men seize it by force. Kingdom men seize it by force. Kingdom women seize it by force. Amen. But as a precious prize, a share in the heavenly kingdom is sought with ardent zeal and intense exertion. Intense exertion. In other words, the kingdom of heaven suffered violent, and the violent take it by force. Amen? Are you violent for the kingdom? I say, are you violent for the kingdom? Can you take it by force? The kingdom of heaven suffered violent, and the violent take it by force. The kingdom of heaven suffered violent. And the violent take it by force. The kingdom, the kingdom of heaven suffer violence. And the violent take it by force. The kingdom, the kingdom of heaven suffer violence. And the violent take it by force. We 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 take it by force. It's a kingdom agenda. We take it by force. It's a kingdom agenda. We take it by force. It's a kingdom. We take it by force. It's 
suffer violence and the violent take it by force. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. The kingdom, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. The kingdom, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. And the violent take it by force. It's the kingdom of heaven. It's the kingdom of power. It's the kingdom of glory. It's the kingdom of heaven. It's the kingdom of heaven. Power. It's the kingdom of power. Glory. It's the kingdom of glory. It's the kingdom. It's the kingdom of heaven. It's the kingdom of power. It's the kingdom of glory.
heart the sea to steal, hey, the rage in me to steal every wave at your dead call his name. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence me. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Breathe. Call these walls to live. Call these lies to see once again. And I will praise Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Come on, he silenced every fear of you. You silence me. Come on, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness, you make the darkness Come tremble. On. Jesus, 
International. Hallelujah. God bless you. Just have your seat. First of all, I want to say this that you coming here today is a seed. 
It's a seed of faith. Amen. It's a seed saying that, you know, I'm breaking out of that place where I've been. And to come and gather in the house of the Lord. And so I want to just say thank you for sowing that seed of yourself, of your faith. And coming in and just worshiping and just celebrating the Lord in the presence of this house today. Because his presence, his glory is so strong. I feel his presence. Amen. You know, it's strange because when we first got here, it's like we're awkward. We've, you know, we're not used to interacting. We're not used to, you know, lifting our hands or praising or shouting or, you know, uh, uh, getting involved. And so, you know, sometimes we don't realize how just being out of God's house and out of his presence has really affected us. And I believe that God is shifting us into a new dimension. And I can't wait to share uh, the word of the Lord that he's really given me for you tonight. But I want to take a few minutes. If you're giving uh, over over the Internet, if you could just put uh, ways of giving on the screen, you can give uh, through our cash app, um, which is uh, dollar sign R O uh, L W. I think it's R O W M I. I'm sorry, R O L W Muskegon. You can also uh, do text to give. You can text to two three one two two one. 2160. For those of you that are here, if you're making out a check, you can make that out to Rivers of Living Water or you can make it out to R-O-L-W. It doesn't matter. Um, one of the ways of giving that we we started this this year is a text to give. It's really simple and easy. We've been encouraging all of our members uh, to go ahead and uh, uh, set that up. It's very simple to set up. Once you simply go text to give, you just enter um, a dollar amount in the message box. And they will set that up for you and show you how to easily be able to give anytime, 24-7, uh, whenever we're uh, on online or whether you're here in church or whether you are at home. And so I just want to take a few minutes. Uh, when we get done giving, what we're going to do is we're going to receive Evangelist Linda and uh, her team is going to come up and they're going to perform a skit and... Like I said, this is the first time that we have been back. So we apologize for those of you on social media. We're going to try to uh, set it up where we can actually show the video and we can show the skit at the same time. If we can't, we do apologize uh, for for that. But we will get that right for you. It was kind of last minute that uh, we were given a video. And so uh, we really didn't have time to set that up and to prepare. But we're going to um, get that going for you. If you're ready to give, I want you to stand to your feet and we're going to re release a decree as we give tonight if you need an envelope just raise your hand um, our ushers will minister to you if you need an envelope if you need a pen or something to write with um, they can give it to you as well hallelujah I want you to just hold your seat up okay all right um, if you would not walk, what we're going to do is when we get ready to receive the offering, we're just going to pass the basket and we will go uh, to you. So no, nobody needs to walk. I want you to just lift up that seed. I want you to just say, Lord, this is my seed. Seed that leaves my hand shall never leave my life. It shall enter into the spirit and die and multiply and return unto me again. 30, 60, and even a hundredfold. Father, I sow my seed into the soil of 2020 that it may bring a harvest in 2021. This is my final seed of the year. And so I plant this seed with expectation and with faith in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen and amen. They're going to pass the uh, basket um, so you can drop and sow your seed. If we can have um, our drama team, those of you that are going to be doing the skit, if you can come and get position. I'm not sure if we need to move these podiums or, or what, um, but if we can get some quick help so we can just transition and prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all look good. Good, good out there. You know, I say that.
say that because we've been looking at an empty church for a very long, long time. Amen. So let's receive Evangelist Linda and the drama team. They're going to come and present a skit for us. Amen. Let's give them a hand as they come. Some people have seen where God has brought you from. They don't really understand it. They don't know your story. You don't know the things. You don't know the things that I've come through. You cannot imagine. My lowest point. For no more shall the shackles condemn me. You don't know my story. You just don't know. For if you did, you would lift up your hands. So just let me tell you. Like this. 
this. Come on, can we take it up? I'm sorry. I'm delivering I'm the story. transformed your life has been transformed by the power of God amen amen I see those hands hallelujah we have a testimony amen the Bible said that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the power of their testimony amen how many got a testimony <laughs> you know what I would I would always say this, that um, if I can get, give me like 25 minutes on, on the clock just so I don't run over in the new year. But I always say this, that you can never testify to what you have not been delivered from. Amen. You know, you'll, you'll always find that the person that has been delivered from something has no problem testifying that they've been delivered. Amen? You know, it's almost like, you know, you're not ashamed of where Jesus brought you from and where, where he brought you out of. Amen? You know, it's like the blind man said, I once was blind, but now I see. Amen? I once was a fornicator, an adulterer, a murderer, a thief, you know, but now I've been delivered I've been transformed, I've been saved, I've been healed, amen, by the power of God. And that is so awesome and so, so special tonight. I, I want to just share with you, um, the Lord had given us a specific word, and it's, it's amazing because um, as me and my wife were talking, and um, you guys know how, you know, prophet is, the prophets, they, they always tap into you know, the things of God and, and uh, you know, laying in God's face. And she's like, you know, what has God said to you for the year? And, you know, it's like, it's, it's amazing because when you come together and God gives her part and then he gives me part and then we put it, put it together and, you know, all of a sudden we began to see clearly what God was saying because I kept having the resonation of the Lord saying that we're entering into this kingdom era where we're entering into an era of the kingdom. And, and some people say, well, what do you mean an era of the kingdom? What, what I mean, an era of the kingdom is an era where God's rule, his reign, his authority, and his power actually has full manifestation and dominion and authority. See, and sometimes in, you know, a, a, a time period that we've, you know, been dealing with and, you know, COVID-19 and when the world is, seems like it's been turned upside down and then all of a sudden the church has been silenced and, not, and, and God is speaking, okay, now is the time for my kingdom to begin to rise up and advance. And we're like, what God? We can't even have church, you know? And, and if we really begin to think about it, it's interesting because I was watching a movie a week ago and I believe God had me watching this movie. You ever been watching a movie and you're wondering, you don't even really like the movie, but you just keep watching it. And finally, I figured out what God was doing. And the movie was was revealing um, what was taking place in the lives of believers in China and how they were being beaten, how they were being persecuted and how they were being murdered for just simply 
uh, preaching, teaching the gospel, and having home churches. And I said, here we are in America where we have the right and the freedom to come and to gather and worship, and we're so bound by fear and everything that's going on that, that, that we don't even think twice about it. But then all of a sudden I began to look at this movie and one of the uh, ladies that was in prison, her parents had snuck her in, you know, just one scripture out of the Bible and she was memorizing it and she was quoting it and sharing it with other people. And I was just simply like, God, something's wrong here. We're not seeing correctly here. We're not looking through the right eyes. And the Lord began to speak uh, to us concerning the kingdom of God and not just being a kingdom of God's or excuse me, an era of God's kingdom, but it is an era of God's kingdom favor because favor is being released. And when we talk about favor, we talk about the grace of God, you know, and we look at the year of, of 2021 and numerically, when you look at a, a, a two and zero and then you look at 21, two and two is four plus one is five. Five is a number of grace. And, and, and grace is God's favor. What is God's favor? Well, you know what? We took all last year and I taught nothing but dealing with God's grace and faith. And so if it's one thing that we should understand in this house is God's grace and God's faith. And we understand that God's grace is what? What God has already completed, what's already finished. It's, it's past tense. It's already been given, and all we have to do is have the right appropriation of faith in order to be able to receive it. And so as we enter into that place of God's kingdom era, understand that God has given you favor. And so there's an expectation of the things that, that God has given us that we have a right to receive them. But somehow when we're going through a, 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 a pressure, when we're going through all types of adversity, we tend to think that we're limited by our environment or we're limited by the circumstances in which we deal with. And God began to take me to um, Isaiah. I want you to look at this particular scripture. I want to give you this as one of the foundational scriptures. Look at Isaiah chapter 43. And let's look at verse number, let's start with verse number 18, Isaiah 43 and 18. It says, do not remember the former things or ponder the things of the past. Now, I want you to think about something that in order for the kingdom to advance, in order for us to begin to move forward into where God has, has ordained and called us to move to, we can't move forward by looking behind, can we? So that means that even though everything that has happened to us in 2020, we can't let it affect what God has desired and what God has planned for us in 2021. Because we have to advance. The kingdom must advance. The kingdom of God is advancing. God said that the kingdoms of our God shall begin to overtake and overcome the kingdoms of this world. And if we really and truly believe that, we'll begin to exercise God's authority and God's power. So first of all, God is saying, stop looking back at your past, trying to determine what I'm doing in your future. He said, do not remember the former things or ponder the things of the past. He said, listen carefully. I am about to do a new thing, said the Lord. God is about to do a new thing. And if we understand this about God, if we understand this about God, that whenever God begins to do a new thing in our life, that God will now begin to radiate and begin to open up our mind to begin to understand that he creates from a place of darkness and confusion. When he created light, light came out of where? Darkness. Jesus said that I am the light, I am the way, I am the truth. And so sometimes we, we fail to understand that when there's adversity or when there's trial or when there's darkness or when there's a season of, of struggle or when there's a season that we're going through, that out of that season are the ingredients and the recipe for God creating greatness, for God creating success, for God creating power, for God doing awesome, mighty and miraculous things. 
It's in that place. And when you begin to move into the authority of the kingdom, you live your life from a different level of expectation. Why? Because you have diplomatic immunity. See, that means that you have diplomatic community that you can begin to go into different uh, 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 realms and you can go to different places and operate from a different place of authority. This is why when God brought the, uh, uh, the children of Israel out of Egypt through his mighty hand and he began to show Moses that I've given you the authority and that rod was the authority. And when he got between the Egyptians and the Red Sea and they were perplexed and crying and God said, why are you crying to me? What is in your hand? See, that rod represents that authority. It represents the word of God. And God is saying, look, I've given my church the authority, but they must access that authority. They must step out in that authority and use the authority that I've actually given them. And this is an era, I'm telling you, saints of God, where, where God's kingdom is beginning to manifest in our life as never before. He said, listen, listen carefully. I'm about to do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even put roads in the wilderness. So God is saying that he's going to put roads in the wilderness. See, the roads aren't in the wilderness. There's bears and, and there's all kinds of animals and, you know, mountain lions and all other things that are in the wilderness. Wilderness is a rough terrain. But God is saying, look, even though you're going through a season of a wilderness experience, you're going through a pandemic, you're going through a place where the church has been shut down. God is saying, expect roads and highways to be in the mix so that you can begin to accelerate because everything else that is planned for everybody else is not for you. God said, I've created a highway for you in the mix of your wilderness. Come on, somebody. See, but if you're not expecting the highway, if you're expecting tomorrow to be worse than yesterday, if you're expecting 2021 to be worse than 2020 and listen to all of the false prophets of Baal on, on, on the news channels and the networks and what they're prophesying and about new viruses coming and you consume all of that into your spirit, you're not going to be looking for no roads in the mix of your wilderness. Come on, somebody. He said, I'll give you rivers in the mix of your desert in a dry place when you lack and when you don't have. It's time for you to begin to rise up and begin to call God in his word and say, God, you promised me rivers in the mix of my wilderness. I command rivers to rise up. Rise up rivers. Come on, somebody. See, when you're in a kingdom era, Jesus began to exercise the authority of the kingdom. He came, people didn't understand him. People that were bound with diseases and bound with illnesses and bound with demons. Jesus began to do things that other people were not doing. He commanded those demons to come out. He laid hand on the sick and they were healed. See, this is an era where we're not going to begin, amen, to pray that folk get well. We're not going to begin to uh, uh, pray that they get healed anymore. We're going to lay hands on them and command them to be healed. And I'm not talking about you bringing them to the church. I'm talking about you laying hands on them because this is an era of the kingdom where the saints of God are going to rise up and realize the authority and the power that Jesus Christ has invested in the church. Jesus is just waiting on you to rise up and begin to move into your kingdom dominion. Rise up and begin to move into your kingdom authority. Are you here, people of God? This is a kingdom era. This is the kingdom era. The saints of old, they long for times like this. They long for times where people were perplexed and looking for answers and looking for solutions. And Jesus is saying, I have called you as the solution. I have called you as the answer. I have called you as the one to show them and lead them unto me, said the Lord. This is the hour. We have to decree and believe that we have the answer by the grace of God. See, we got an unction from the Holy One that we know all things. Even though you don't feel like you know all things, just begin to decree, I know all things. Why? Because I have the anointing of the Holy Ghost. He said, I will even put roads in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. He said, the beasts of the field will honor me, jackals and ostriches. Because I've given water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen people. The people whom I formed for myself will make known my praise. 
See, and this is how we manifest God's glory in the mix of the wilderness. When you begin to lift up praise. Have you learned to praise him in the mix of your wilderness? See, God told me, he said, that the church is in a wilderness experience. See, and God brings us through wilderness experiences to show us what's in our heart. He takes us through wilderness experiences to show you what's in you, even though you can't come into the house of the Lord. Are you still gathering together and praying? Are you still calling on my name? Are you still sowing and investing and giving into my kingdom? Or are you just doing those things because people aren't now in your presence to see what you're doing? God said, I want to see your heart. I want to know, do you really love me? See, that's what he told Peter when he, when he came back. He said, Peter, you, you're not where you really think you are. And Peter was saying, Lord, I'm ready to die for you. And Jesus was saying, you know what? You're going to deny me three times before I die. The cock is going to crow and you'll deny me three times. And Peter said, no, I'm ready to die. And guess what he did? He denied him three times, didn't he? But when he came back, he had three questions for him. He said, do you really love me? He said, do you really love me? He said, if you really love me, then what you do is you'll take on my kingdom agenda. You will begin to feed my people. See, this was a time when Peter himself felt like he had missed it. It was the lowest point. Imagine he had betrayed the Lord Jesus himself and he felt like a failure. But Jesus is saying, even in the midst of the place where you are, where you feel like you're a failure, I'm still expecting you to rise up and begin to become sustenance and bread to someone else that someone else can feed and gleam off of you. This wilderness experience that we've been in is exposing some things. It's five specific things that I want to talk about that God is going to do in 2021. Thank you. Number one, that God is going to begin to expose impure motives. God is exposing impure motives. And the purpose of him exposing these impure motives is to simply bring glory and glorification to him. Because every motive that the people of God have, if your motive, if you're building the church, if you're building the kingdom, it's not of the right motive. It's going to be exposed. You know, we talked about this, you know, last year we decreed and we said that there's coming a testing, there's coming a fire. And those churches that are not built upon a solid and a firm foundation, they're going to be tested to be whether they're found of wood or hay or stubble, whatever they're found of. And if they're not found, amen, on the truth of God, they're going to burn up and they're going to dissolve. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's over 20,000 churches since the pandemic today that doesn't even exist, that their doors are closed. I thank God that we're able to still be here glorifying and, and lifting up his name. Amen. And declaring the decree in his name. That is a testimony in itself. Come on, give yourself some praise for what God has done on the inside of you. Number two. God is going to begin the process of exposing of intentional sin. There has been a refusal to simply repent because of the comfort of false graces. And there's been individuals in the body of Christ that we have been sinning intentionally and knowing that God is not happy or pleased with where we are, but because nothing has happened and occurred in our life, we accept it as God's approval. But God is saying that the fire of God is going to begin to come to the house of the Lord, and I'm going to begin to expose intentional sin, said the Lord. 2021 is going to be a year of God's judgment. You're going to begin to see in January that the judgment of God is going to begin to fall. And the Bible says that the judgment of the God starts first where? At the house of the Lord. And this is why we're seeing a falling away. And the Lord said that in the last days there's coming a separation between the true church and the harlot church. See, it's just like this, that when your parents talk to you, and especially a father, and all of a sudden they ask you to do something and then, you know, you don't move and you don't do it. And then they ask you again. Fathers usually don't ask you more than twice. The third time, the voice changes. It's a different tone in the voice, and sometimes children mistake fathers for mothers. Fathers don't function like mothers. Fathers say, I told you. 
to get up and do what I told you. And I'm here to tell you today that the voice of the Lord is changing in many people's lives. God is tired of winking at the intentional sin and the things that we're doing in the body of Christ and we know that we're doing them and we think that God is okay with them because his judgment and nothing has happened to us. We're going to begin to see the judgment of God fall and you thought that you saw people fall off and die. I'm, I'm telling you in 2020, all of a sudden you're going to hear strange occurrences of people leaving here on the earth and especially those in churches and those that are in position of spiritual leadership. And the Lord is saying it's time for us to get our house ready because my voice is changing because of the rebellion that is taking place in my house. Number three. There's going to be an exposing of wolves in sheep's clothing and a separation of the true church from the harlot church. You're going to begin to know those who stand upon truth, those who stand upon the authority and the word of God. Those who stand for truth and righteousness. Why? Because things are getting to a place where the pressure and the anxiety and what's happening in the earth is, is, is causing a disdain and even a hatred even for the earth. And God is changing our appetite for the things that we desire. And we're going to begin to hunger and thirst for him more than we have hungered and thirst for him. We're going to begin to desire him more than we've ever desired him. God's glory, I'm telling you, in his manifestation, as we begin to open up and begin to allow him to come in, his glory is going to begin to fall in church services. The miracle power of God is going to begin to come, and we're going to begin to see creative miracles happen like never before. God gave me a vision last night and showed me that 2021 is going to be a year of creative miracles of signs and wonders for those that simply will believe him and move out in them. I'm, I'm going to share that with you later. Number four, a revealing of his call to fellowship and intimacy. God is going to begin to stir us up. God is going to begin to release a revealing of his call. There's going to be an understanding that, you know what, I am called. There is a purpose. There is an agenda. God loves me. God wants to spend time with me. God is desiring me. God wants me. He's pursuing me. There is going to be a call for the fellowship of Jesus Christ in our life as never before. God is going to begin to reveal himself to people as never before. He's going to begin to pour out himself in dreams and visions. The revelation of Joel chapter 2 verses 20 where God is pouring out his spirit in the last days is going to begin to manifest as never before. God is going to cause the heavens to be open and the latter rain is going to fall and the former rain is going to come as well. And you're going to say, what's happening to me? I had a dream last night. I had a vision. I seen angels. There is so much angelic activity that's taking place in the spirit. And lastly, number five, there's going to be a revealing of his power and dominion and authority and the demonstration in the lives of the everyday believers. There's going to be a revealing of his power and his authority. And I'm speaking especially to the millennial generation. God said, watch the young people. They may not be doing it the way that we think that they should be doing it, but we're going to begin to see a mass movement, a revival arise throughout the earth in the millennial generation. And we're going to begin to see tangible miracles and signs and wonders as never before. God is releasing a boldness against the plans of the enemy. All of a sudden, when we see the plans of the enemy working, there's a holy indignation. There is a righteous boldness and indignation that is going to rise up in, on the mix of us. Let me quickly tell you this dream. And I want you to give me the last three minutes. Put the uh, countdown clock on there so we can count down the new, new year. But the Lord gave me a vision the other night. Um, it was the night before New Year's Eve. I believe it was Wednesday night that we were praying. Me and the wife were praying. And I went in the basement and I was seeking the Lord. And I said, God, reveal to me what are you saying? What are you doing 
and the year 2021. And all of a sudden, I, I, I fell off into the realm of the Spirit and God began to take me into a vision. And I was in a car and I was the passenger in the vehicle. And on the other side, it was a judge in a black robe. And we were in the driveway of someone's house and we were uh, uh, coming up the driveway and there was a pavilion and there were children playing underneath the pavilion. And the judge was driving the car. And all of a sudden, the judge came up, he saw the children and he stopped. And there were like three children. There were two older children. And then there was one really small uh, uh, infant that the judge could barely see. And when the other two children moved away to the uh, 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 left side, the judge kept going. And, and he sped up and he crushed and ran over the little child. And my heart was broken and turn, torn within me because when he, when he moved up, he hit the child directly with the car and I actually heard the skull of the child crush. And, and you could just hear what had happened and literally the child had flattened like a pancake. And I was freaking out. I was saying, God, oh my God, I can't believe what happened. And the Lord said, get out and go and pick up the child. I want to heal him. And I immediately jumped out of the car and I looked and I grabbed. There was a blanket that one of the other children had left. I picked up the child. I put him in the blanket and I wrapped him. And I began to walk around, beginning to pray in the Holy Spirit. And I began to just ask God to begin to heal. And as I was holding the child, I felt the child uh, beginning to cry. And, and there was almost an agitation of pain taking place. And I was praying in the spirit and kept praying in tongues. And I asked God to begin to heal the child. And I looked again. And when I looked the third time, the child was completely whole and I said God what are you saying God what are you, what, what is the meaning of this and the Lord said son this is going to be a time and an era where I'm going to begin to undo what the legal system and the judges have done to our society and to our community and to the African American community and and the judge driving forth and he was careless in his approach and the Lord said this is what has happened that the supreme courts and those that rule and function in high level places have been careless about some of the decisions that they have made even the Roe versus way concerning the children and when he thought that the children was all out of the way he should have been more careful but he sped up and the child that was unseen and the, and the Lord said that the child that was unseen was the, was the aborted children and the innocent blood that is being shared and no one uh, cares about and no one sees and that does not come on the radar. God is saying that I'm going to begin to do a change and I'm going to bring reformation even in this system that the world sees that is corrupt and the Lord said that there is a war that is taking place and the Lord said be sure to watch for my judgment is going to begin to fall in the year of 2021 and you're going to begin to see an upheaval and an overturning and an overthrowing of kingdoms of this world and the kingdoms of our God are going to begin to rise up but the Lord is saying are you the one or shall I call for another are you the one that is going to rise or are you going to sit in your sealed houses are you going to be the ones that, that, that draw back and that are waiting for the world to tell you that it's okay or are you going to cause your ear to be in tune with heaven and move out by the unction and the call of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord said, get ready. Because it's going to be a year of creative miracles and signs and wonders and my government and my authority that rests upon my shoulders. You will begin to move out and you will see through demonstration and signs and wonders, say the Lord. Come on, saints, just give him, give him some praise for that right there. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to stand to your feet. We're going to get ready to pray. And when three minutes come, they're going to put uh, the three minute clock on there and we're going to pray for three minutes. And when the new year comes in, we're going to begin to speak and celebrate. Come on, begin to pray in your heavenly language right now. Come on, begin to speak and prophesy some things uh, over your life, over your family. We decree by the Spirit of God. Uh, we loose the unction and the anointing uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh, we thank you, oh God. Uh, Lord, as we begin to cross over into the new year, this is a season, oh God, uh, where you're pouring out your Spirit uh, among all flesh, uh, where you're overthrowing kingdoms, oh God, uh, where you're moving into a place uh, of dominion and salvation and wonders, oh God. And Lord, now in the name of Jesus, let your anointing descend upon your people, oh God, for the year of 2021. God, I decree now.
now everyone that is here and everyone listening through social media everyone God through Facebook I loose the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon your life I decree in the name of Jesus grace and favor kingdom dominion and power rule and government be loosed upon your life I decree Psalms 91 over you no sickness shall come nigh unto your dwelling place I decree in the name of Jesus no illness or disease no famine shall come upon thee said the Lord I decree the divine grace and a divine favor I decree the boldness of the Lord begin to arise we lose a stirring now in the name of Jesus Christ oh Rabashi we release the fire of the Lord I decree it in the name of Jesus as the Lord said in John chapter 2 oh God for you said this is that that was prophesied by the prophet Joel that you would begin to pour out your spirit among when you said that our sons and daughters, Lord, shall prophesy, Lord, that our old men shall dream dreams, and our young men shall see visions, say the Lord. You said that you pour your spirit out among the handmaids and the servants, O God, that would be an outpouring upon the whole church, upon the whole earth, O God. I decree in the name of Jesus, pour it out, pour it out, we say pour it out, pour it out, O God, begin to pour it out, O God, let me pour Lord said that I will anoint 
anoint you with the anointing, uh, even that I anointed Jonah. And the Lord said that I will cause you uh, to make uh, even a year's journey, said the Lord. Uh, in three days, said the Lord. Uh, but the Lord said that there's an anointing uh, that shall come upon you, that you shall begin to remove, uh, and you shall recover all, uh, everything that you have lost. Uh, the Lord said, I shall be I shall bring a restoration and a recovery, said the Lord. For this is an hour as you begin to rise up and begin to take my authority and my word in your hand and to begin to decree it into the atmosphere of the earth. I shall cause angelic intervention to take place and my angels shall begin to partner with you and you shall see the dynamic function and the movement of my kingdom authority, said the Lord, as you have never seen before. So the Lord said, ask of me and I will give you the nation Ask of me and I shall give you even the treasures and the riches of darkness uh, that you may fulfill my agenda and you may fulfill the covenant uh, that I promised unto my forefathers, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, but the Lord said, this uh, shall even be a year that I shall cause uh, a transference of wealth uh, from the hands uh, of the wicked into the hands of the righteous, said the Lord. Uh, for wealth is even transferring, uh, even right now. So the Lord said, ask of me and see what I will do. Ask of me and see what I will reveal. Ask of me and see what I will show you, said the Lord, even in this year. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We honor you and we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your grace and favor. We thank you for your honor and your glory. Hallelujah. As you leave this place tonight, hallelujah, leave under the anointing and the presence of God. No that something has been deposited on the inside of you. Something has been deposited and that something is an anointing, it's an unction to move you into this new year. To move you into this new year. There's been so much favor on this house and the people of this house. When I say this house, I mean the people that are connected with this house through this whole pandemic. There's been so many testimonies of how God has sustained us and God has increased us and God, amen, has breathed upon us and God has favored us. Believe me, you're going to get a chance to share some of those testimonies, amen, because people need to hear what God is doing. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you, saints, expect the highway in the mix of your wilderness. You may feel like you're going through a wilderness right now, but God said, expect highways in the mix of your wilderness. You may feel like you're in a dry place in a dry season, but God is saying, expect rivers in the mix of your dry place, in the mix of your desert, in the mix of this season. Well, I'll give you drink and you'll never thirst again, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, let's shout one more time. When I count to three, I want you to shout Happy New Year. One, two, three. Happy New Year. God bless you, saints. You are dismissed. I want to invite everyone back. We will be here having service on Sunday morning. We're going to start promptly. Um, 11 o'clock. Amen. God bless you. We love you. And we will see you at the river.